Hi everyone and welcome to Frontitude. Today, I will be walking you through the general process of using the Frontitude platform to streamline your UX copy workflow. To start off, you want to have your project open in your design tool. Today, I'm using Figma. Then, in the upper left corner, click the menu drop-down, go to Plugins, and select Frontitude. You should see this pop-up. First, you'll want to export your copy over to Frontitude. To do so, you first need to select all the layers you want exported. You can select specific texts or entire frames. Since this project is already being worked on, I'm going to select the last frame since it includes new copy. Once selected, click Export Content. Then, after it loads, select Open in Frontitude. This should redirect you to Frontitude's project page. From here, you can see all your copy projects, each of which corresponds to a Figma file. To get working, simply select the desired project. Now here comes the fun part, using Frontitude. To see all the new copy I just imported, I can click New Copy in the upper left corner. Now all the project's new copy is visible. Yet, when all the copy is just listed like this, I can't easily tell what each text is. I can fix this by adding tags. Tags allow collaborators to designate what type of copy each text is, providing more context and enhancing project organization. But first, I need to recall the context of each text. To do so, I can quickly switch to Design View by simply clicking on the desired text I want to view, then clicking the Design View icon in the top center of the page. Now that I can see the context of each copy, I can add tags. For example, I'm going to mark Current Plan as Purchase Flow by clicking Add Tags and searching Purchase Flow. I'm also going to mark it as a caption too. You can also mark text as buttons, titles, warning messages, or you can create your own tag whatever suits your needs. Now that I've tagged my copy, I want to check that my wording is consistent throughout the project. To do so, I'm going to switch back to list view by clicking on the list view icon in the top center of the page. We tagged new purchase flow copy, so I'm going to filter to see only purchase flow by clicking filter by tags and choosing purchase flow. Now all copy relating to purchase flow is listed, so I can discover the current voice and tone we already use in the product. Here, I can see that the previous copy uses your plan instead of current plan. I want to make all copy consistent, so I'm going to edit them to match. Yet, when you change your text like this, you can't tell how it'll look in the design. Frontitude solves this problem by allowing you to test phrases right in the design. I'm going to switch back to design view. Now, any change I make to the text will show in the design so I can test phrases to find the perfect fit. Now that I've made my edits, I can change the status of the copy. The copy status feature lets collaborators know which pieces of text still need review and which are complete, ensuring that all copy flows through the revision and approval process. This one is set as draft. Right now, this text looks complete but needs to be reviewed by the team, so I will change the status to review. With these simple steps, we were able to ensure your new copy fits seamlessly into the design and matches the voice and tone of the other copy. Now, make sure you save these changes by clicking Submit Change on the Editing Side panel. On the panel, you will also see the Activity Log, which shows all changes made by you and your team and allows you to comment on them as well. This way, you can keep track of previous copy changes to know which phrases have already been tested and how you came to the current revision. Now, once your text is complete, it's time to pull the changes over back to your design tool to continue collaboration with the design team. On the Frontitude pop-up, click Pull Changes. This will import all saved changes directly into the design. No tedious copy and pasting required. You can also view the activity log directly from the plugin so designers can reference any changes. Now, we've covered the basics of using Frontitude. Thank you so much for watching, and if you have any questions or would like additional information, you can find us at frontitude.com.